There are two ways to get information back and forth between you and your end user, the contact form and the email marketing form. So let's take a look at them. To get to the contact form, we go to add to elements, slide down to contact form, and uh, click on that and you'll get some options. All of these can be made to look identical, so just pick one. Let's pick this one. Here's a contact form. Now there are advantages and disadvantages to each contact versus email marketing. Um, the advantage of the contact form is that it's very straightforward. It lets the end user send you um, information to whatever email you designate. Alternatively, you can send have that information that they fill out in the form sent to a URL. Uh, it could be to a Zapier so that it's going to be forwarded to a Google spreadsheet, for example, and that can be very useful. This form does not connect to the Mailing Boss autoresponder uh, email system. So let's take a look. If we click on it, we've got our little mini editing bar here where you can uh, choose to save this element to use elsewhere. Uh, click on the edit element and we get all the settings for the contact form. They include, of course, the general settings, um, horizontal show label, for example, like that. Show the placeholder or not. Don't know why you'd want to not have either of those. Um, the size uh, of the button can change. The height of the button can change. It can go all the way across. The minimum uh, width on a tablet view. The field style in terms of its color, uh, whether it's centered or not, bold or italics, how high the field is uh, or not. The edge of the field border size lots of things that you can adjust the background color of the field here you get the general cover color of the uh, form or of the button both in background and hover so that if they are about to click on the button it will change color it helps reinforce that they're um, doing what they want to do and of course the the color of the text hover if you change the button to white then you better change the color of the text or it won't be visible anymore. You can add a border if you like. Um, you could round the corners of the border. The headline are the words that are actually going to appear. Oops, submit, submit, submit. And you can see that shows up right away. You can change the color, the size, the font style. Um, lots of choices for that. You can have a subheading underneath that button. Do it now. You can add shadow, animation, uh, tag configuration. Again, like with the little icon of the, the disk, you can save this as a personal element for use later. The next important thing is this icon to set the fields. So here you see this one came with first name, last name, email, subject, your message, but it doesn't have to be set up that way. Um, there are three choices here. Email, like who is the email going to, their email going to be sent to? Um, what's, you know, it could be support at yourcompany.com or whatever. Um, subject could tell you information from whatever source they were looking at from facebook ad 3. now if you want them to go to a particular page after they hit that submit button put the url here you can also include a pop-up that will tell them that their message has been sent um, and if some information there's if some information they fill out is supposed to be required and they don't fill it out then here's where you put the wording for what you want the reminder message to be. Other than email, 
here's where you can change which fields are included. So if you don't care about their last name, you can just delete that from the form. If you want to add a field, you can do that. Uh, this is very flexible, and you can change the order um, of the fields. So if you want the subject first, just the arrows up, just the arrows up or down. And uh, the third possibility is the action. If you do want them to be sent to another uh, internet location or page, um, here is where you would put that. And that's most of it. So this is um, real handy to get information unless you want it to connect to a list of yours to keep track of all the people, in which case you need an email marketing form. So let's go back to Add to Elements, Return, slide down to Email Marketing Form. And again, we've got several here. We'll just pull one. And the important thing with the email marketing form is that it connects to a list of subscribers. Uh, here I've got a bunch of lists, but if you either you should create a list first in Mailing Boss, or you can go here to create a new list. Um, then it will show you your list at this point in the process, and you pick the list and save it. And that means that your information from your user will be sent to that list. And so you can accumulate that, and that's terrific, because you can do all sorts of things after that, um, mailing them additional items, selling them other things, whatever you need, uh, whatever you need them to know. This also has some options for adjusting how it looks, of course. Here's a little editor. Save it as a personal item. Edit the settings. Center it on the page or inside a box. The uh, To set which mailing boss list you're going to connect it to. To set a link that you can send them to afterwards. This is reCAPTCHA which is uh, recommended because it lets you set up something that will prevent a bot from sending you junk email names onto your list. You can duplicate this, you can hide it, you can delete it. Let's take a quick look at the settings, which are very much like the contact form. Button width, um, button height can be adjusted. Let's get it all the way. There we go. A height a little tall there. Um, we only have one piece of information here. You're probably going to want the name as well as the email, at least a first name, but that can't be adjusted here. That has to be done inside Mailing Boss for whichever form you've started with. Size, colors, border, round border, headline, uh, Subheadline is also possible in the email marketing form. Do it now. And make sure that the color you've chosen will show up. There we go. Uh, shadow, animation, tags, advanced, very much the same. The um, page that will show you here also has a link for uh, a longer video to cover much more of the details and how to create a list in, um, in Mailing Boss. I hope that helps.